Is Metacat USB the best bootable USB of 2023? I'm not sure, but I'm going to show you how to build it today. Before we jump in, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. I hit 900, shooting for 1,000. All right, let's jump right in. All right, so the first thing you'll need is at least a 32 gigabyte USB drive. It can be larger, but at least 32 gigs. You're going to want to format that, and you're going to set that to FAT32. You can feel free to give it a name. I'm going to name my Metacat USB, and then we're going to start that quick format. This won't take long. All right, format complete. Now that your USB drive is ready, we can get started. You're going to head over to metacatusb.com. And I'm going to give you guys this link in the description. All right, once you're there, click on installer. And then you're going to want to go to download. And you're going to choose Windows. If you're using Windows, obviously. All right, that'll actually download a batch file. <clears throat> now, guys, by default, Windows Defender... Um, Avast, whatever you're using, Avaya is going to block this batch file because this tool has a lot of gnarly things in it. And by gnarly, I mean really good and handy. So you're going to want to temporarily disable your AV. So I'm using Avast here so I can just go to the shield control and disable until restart. It takes over an hour for this entire process because the download takes quite a while. It's a very large file. So I've just chose to disable mine until the next reboot. So make sure you guys take care of that. It's a housekeeping thing that we need to do before we launch that bat. Now that we've done that, we can go ahead and head back to our downloads folder and we're gonna run this as administrator. Power up. You're gonna click on more info if you get the smart screen prompt and say run anyway. Just Windows throwing another layer of protection at you. Let's go ahead and click run anyway. You may get a UAC prompt there. If you do, just click yes, proceed. And this is going to launch the Metacat batch file, which is the installer. I've zoomed in on the screen for you guys here. So click yes, and that'll start the download. Or just hit any key. I'm sorry. That'll start the download. I'm going to resize these windows as we go, guys. So don't worry. All right. Now we're at the Metacat installer. Hit any key to continue. Same thing here. You're just reading the little um, license or warning, if you will. Go ahead and hit install. Now we're going to actually use the mouse here. You can get interactive with this command window. You're going to click on install Metacat. All right. Now it's going to start downloading some of the prerequisites like Ventoy, which is a tool that's used for multi-boot USB drives. Now we need to identify the USB drive where we're going to install this to. So this will pop up a uh, file explorer or Windows Explorer. I'm using the drive that I formatted, the F drive, Metacad USB, 32 gig. Go ahead and click OK. Guys, I'm sorry for the dark screens here. I am switching back and forth in OBS to show you guys a close-up of each one of these screens. So you'll see here it's just saying, hey, make sure this is the right one. So it says F. If that's the right one, hit Enter. If not, type the correct drive letter below. It is the correct one, so we'll just hit Enter to proceed. Would you like to use GPT? You're going to say yes. Secure boot. Almost all computers now have secure boot enabled by default. So go ahead and hit yes here. If you're not using secure boot, you can click no. I am selecting yes because obviously, like I said, most use it now. Installing Ventoy. All right. Creating the file system structure. Let's let it, we're just going to let it do its thing here. Could not find the Metacat files because we did not download the zip beforehand. So we're going to allow the batch files to do all of this for us. So we're clicking yes, we'd like to download them now. This will take some time, guys. You're going to use the torrent because it's a little faster. But it's still going to take a lot of time. So I won't show this entire thing, but I'll show a little bit. It'll slide. Right now it says ETA two hours, but obviously it's not going to take that long to download. It's probably going to take more like 30, 40 minutes. It'll slide back and forth as it does the calculations on the time. And we'll just let this thing work. There's your percentage there, 0%. We'll see it go up as we get some progress here. 1%. A few minutes later. 
All right, guys, we're wrapping up. We're at 98%. Probably got another minute or so to go here. So as I said, this is a rather large download. So what this does initially, it's gonna download it by default to your downloads folder. So make sure your local drive on your computer has at least, I think it's about 24 gigs. Make sure you have enough room on there because it's gonna put it there first to work with it and ex extract it and things like that. So just be aware of that. All right, the download is complete, guys. All right, guys, the next step is the extraction process. This is also going to take quite a while. So now we are extracting the archive, the 7-zip file that it download, down All right, guys, that is done. The installer has completed. Hit any key to continue. This is just going to check all of the files. So it's showing all the files that it's that it's uh, installed, extracted, downloaded, etc., etc. And now it's just checking the integrity of those files and make sure they're all good. So this also will take some time, guys. A few minutes later. All right, guys, that is it. We are done creating our bootable USB for Metacat. Again, this video is a how-to on how to create that bootable USB for Metacat, which is a great tool. Is it the best tool of 2023? You're gonna have to stick around, subscribe, and check out the series to find out. And I'll post another video, guys, on a review of Metacat in 2023, just to walk through the different utilities, take a look at how to boot into it, the menu, how to customize the background, and things like that. But the main purpose of this video, guys, was to show you how to create Metacat bootable USB. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm reaching a thousand, so I really appreciate your support. Have a great day, guys. And until the next one, take care.